Good morning, garden friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Ara, and this is Gardening on Purpose. If you're new here, welcome, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. If you're a subscriber, welcome back, and thank you all to all my new subscribers. I truly appreciate it. So for today's video, I'm doing, I'm at, I'm at Lowe's. It's in the morning on Friday, and I'm at Lowe's, and I'm just looking to see what they have. I don't need anything, but I want to show you what my Lowe's still has towards the end of January on clearance. So here's the clearance tier. And so let's just get into it. The first thing I want to show you is this Mundo grass. This Mundo grass here is $12.98, but would be $7 on clearance. And it's a six pack. And they have a lot of them a lot of clearance mondo grass and i don't really need this or else i would have grabbed some but um i have enough grass going on in my yard so i don't need it but it's a really great buy it's only seven dollars for six of them the next one i want to show you uh these baby gem boxwoods it's such a shame because these are going to be uh, $7, but it's such a shame because they're so damaged. Maybe they will flush back out in the spring. They're going to turn green again, but right now they're brown. But I, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't think they're damaged. They're just, you know, they, they got some serious weather and they are protecting themselves and they're going to come back out with some green foliage. But this is the baby gem boxwood. Everybody loves these. I don't like these. I like the Korean boxwoods. These go four by four to five and they are hardy to from zone five to nine. Um, they also have some sunshine legustrums which I love. You guys know I love Sunshine Legustrums. I have a lot of them in my yard. These two are looking kind of brownie brownie. These are supposed to be either chartreuse green or yellow. But again, it's the winter. Things are looking brown and they're in containers and they've been go going through that, that thaw freeze, thaw freeze that we've been going on here in zone 8A in the southeastern United States. These don't have a price on them, but I think they were usually 12 something and now they would be seven i don't see a tag on those two little ones um so those are the sunshine legustrums that's the mundo grass this is the baby gem boxwoods they also have some emerald green arbovita now these are really small these are full sun and really great for a screen they are 1098 which means they will be seven dollars and they are hardy to zone three they're very small and i i've already bought all the armor vitae that i need but i i've heard that the green giant are really really good over of course the leyland cypress everybody's talking um nobody likes the leyland cypress anymore they, they topple over during the storm they get damaged they can hit your house and all that stuff but this is the green giant and it gets to 15 feet by four feet wide and they are beautiful but I, I i assume that this will take years to get to this type of screening capacity but there they are what they also have some bordeaux yopo yopo Yupon Holly. What am I what am I saying? Why am I saying it like that? Yupon Holly Bordeaux. This is a full sun evergreen and it would be $10 because it's uh, half off and it's hardy to zone 7. And these are nice. These are really nice. They're really really compact, but I don't I don't need these. So really check your lows to see if you're really looking for some evergreen um hollies you know check your lows out you might lock up because i have a lot to show you guys look at all this clearance plants that i have to show you and i am just down at this end but this is a beauty right here it's a foundation hedge and like i said it takes full sun yopon holly uh let's see next one is This one here is Compact Japanese Holly. This is a part sun. And which one is this? This is, yeah, this little green one right here. I was looking at that one, but it's really this one here. Compact Japanese Holly. 
and ten dollars because it's half off and it's hardy to zone six really nice i really like this too bad i don't need anything and i'm glad i don't need anything because you know i don't need to be buying anything right now but i wanted to show you guys these are looking really really healthy this is a recurve ligustrum i bought a bunch of these first i had bought them at full price because i couldn't wait for them to put them on on uh, clearance and then they put them on clearance and i was so annoyed at myself because i could have waited and instead of buying them for 10 i ended up buying them for 19 but i came back and bought four more for the 10. this is the recurve ligustrum and this one here is a fast growing hedge. This one is, I know, is hardy from zone seven to 10. And I have them because I need to work on a project where I'm hedging my entire yard. These are pretty fast growing. I love them. They, um, they bloom in the spring. Um, what else? They do have some gardenias. So they have a couple of recurves. Let me just go back. So there's one recurve right here, another recurve, and I think I saw another one. And then they have the August Beauty Gardenia. Now gardenias are so beautiful. They smell divine, but they are a problem for me. I cannot keep my gardenia healthy at all. I don't know, no matter what I do, my gardenias are always looking like they're on death's door. So this is a, it looks like a 2.5 gallon for $19.98, which is really $10. And look at that beauty, guys. It's a Park Sun plant. And it's August beauty, like I said. And it's, look, hardy to zone 8. Well, gardenias love the South. And I'm in the South. And we have clay. They love the clay. And... I don't know what the issue is, but they just put us in zone eight. It doesn't matter because I'm still not going to be having any luck with them. Um, but I have a bunch of them in my yard because I bought them on clearance. And I was like, I'm going to keep trying until this gardenia does what I want it to do. This is going to be four to six by six, by four to six. And like I said, it's hardy in zone eight. It's August Beauty Gardenia. Uh, they also have some Ameth Amethyst Falls Wisteria. These ones bloom spring and summer. These are trailers. These ones are going to be $12 and they're hardy to zone 5. Also have some Star Jasmine. Full sun, it's a vine, and it it's it blooms in the summer, and that's what it looks like. These ones here won't do well because I'm looking for something to put in an arbor, and my arbor is my arbor is above ground. It's gonna be in a container, and these are not gonna do well because especially since it's in zone nine. Look at that, it's in zone nine. So between the and I, you know what, I did buckle and I did buy the um, wisteria, but I'm thinking that because it's gonna be in a container that it won't go wild. Because as you know, wisteria has a reputation of growing really wild and really fast, and I don't have the space for all that. So I'm gonna put them in the container and hope they make it. But the star jasmine, that's out of my my um, my, my zone, so I'm not even gonna buy that. Um, they do have, um, some first editions plum magic crepe myrtle i love the first editions brand it is so classy their plants always look great and no exception here of course they don't have any leaves but the plant looks good this is a first editions a three gallon that's 30.98 for a plum magic crepe myrtle look at that beauty guys this is going to be 15 dollars, guys 15 dollars for a three gallon crepe myrtle get to your lows guys please just try and go to your lows and see what you get they, there's they can't be that only my lows has all these great plants okay then the next one is ooh, a zone 8 plant it gets 10 feet by 6 feet and it is a fragrant tea olive fragrant tea olive looks really nice I heard these smell really really nice they are part Sun and this is in like a 10 gallon or a 7 gallon this is huge 
even if I wanted this, I couldn't get this. It's so heavy, I don't, and I only have the car, so I won't be able to put it in, in anything and take it home. But I don't need it. I really don't need it. This is a beauty, guys. Forty, $49, so it, it would be 25 today. And like I said, it's a part sun, uh, plant, fragrant tea, olive. They have like five of them. Really, really nice. It's a screening plant. So if you're looking for something that's green, it's an evergreen, smells nice, and you have a part sun area, this is your um, plant. They also have the Green Giant Arborvita for $64, which means it will only be $32. And again, this looks like it's uh, either a 7 or a 10 gallon. And... If you're looking for Arborvitae, they have them, guys. Full sun, $32. That's that's pretty darn cheap. Oh, look, guys. They have Sky Pencil Holly. Sky Pencil Holly is a full sun plant. And it's $54.98, which means it's going to be half off. And again, in a 10-gallon. I'm thinking 10 or 7. I can't tell, actually. Let me go look instead. instead of, oh, no, it's a 6. Why does it look so... Like it's lot. It's a six, six gallon. So the others that I said that were ten or seven, they were actually six. Um, and these look really nice and healthy. They are in zone six, and they grow from six to eight feet in height to one point five. So if you have a little narrow area that you're looking to put something that doesn't spread too much, and again, guys, these look so healthy. I'm really surprised because some of the other plants, they look kind of rough from this freeze thaw freeze thaw freeze thaw but these um sky pencil hollies look really 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 nice guys please check out your lows check to see if you you get lucky with any of these really really great plants uh they also have some pansies and violas i don't need any pansies or violas it's a shame they have so many they're gonna have to throw it away sooner or later um, but there's a lot of them and I have enough of those they also have some cyclamens down here again these are looking rough but they have them they've got some lyrope or lirio how have you pronounce this this is a part sun grass like plant and this is the big blue and it blooms in the spring and the summer they have one for $7.98 and one for $4.98 so obviously according to the tier this was only this will be four dollars and this will be three dollars um, but again I don't need any Liriopo Lyropi and they still have some um, cabbage and kale I've got some snapdragons some Dusty Miller's in here. If you're still working on, on planters, they still got them. Even more pansies for, because you know, we're in the South, so our pansies can go all the way to May. The pansies will burn out once we get to the heat, which is, you know, June, July, August, but they are good up until, until May. Lots of crepe myrtles, guys. You In my last video, you might have seen I had, I had bought this particular one here, the Delta uh, eclipse but they have the fusion a bunch of them guys look at all these crepe myrtles all in two and three gallons half off twelve dollars they have the black diamond lavender lace this one here is 30 which means it will be 15 and I don't have any lavender lace crepe myrtles and I'm done buying crepe myrtles anyway but um, they have them if you're looking lavender lace is again from the black diamond brand it is hardy from zone 7 to 11 grows 12 by 8 and it blooms early summer through the fall really pretty if it looks like that then it's really really pretty got some boxwoods foundation hedge wintergreen boxwoods part sun if you're looking for those more arborvita I have this already. I have some Highlights Arborvita, $12. More um, boxwoods. And one more 
norepetalum in here the this i think this is the um dwarf dime uh, blue diamond or something diamond uh but i don't have the tag here they don't have the tag on here but i bought this already and they do have look at this beautiful looking jubilation gardenia grows three to four by three to four and is hardy to zone seven from zone seven to ten really really pretty gardenias really love the south so if you have if you're really lucky with gardenias you should pick one up so check out your lows guys and see if you can find anything okay guys they have a lot of containers on sale i don't need any containers and these are not usually the containers that i go for but they do have some window boxes the clay ones those were usually 11.68 now they're nine 98 for certain sizes they have the clay color they have the black they have the nursery looking containers here this is a 2.5 gallon pot they have on sale i mean those are cheap only 298 they used to be three but i don't need them but again they have them on sale if you're looking for window boxes if you're looking for cheap planters then they've got them they have this really big one here it's a rail block box black the 17 38 but these are not really great clearance because these looks like they're only giving you two dollars off there looks like they're only giving you two dollars off guys um, but again you know it's something it's better than nothing um, they have a lot of clay um, pots right here I don't like these because they break so that's what they have in the container section they have all the plant foods here, but it's very rare these go on sale. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and Plant Tone and Holly Tone are not going on sale, guys. I'm just going to have to pick it up next week before they all are gone. But I use Holly Tone, I use Plant Tone, and I use Dr. Earth. So Dr. Earth is what I use for my vegetable garden, my all my edibles, and plant tones and holly tones for everything else. I don't use Miracle Grow. Sometimes I might buy Osmocote. It all depends. It has to be on sale because Osmocote is quite expensive, guys, as you know. But I'm just I've been coming here every week looking to see. And the guy, one of the guys that works here, he kind of knows me because I'm here all the time and he saw me and he was like, oh, we're getting delivery on the 4th of February. So I will be back on the 4th of February <laughs> to look to see what they have. Hopefully it will be stuff like, um, um, you know, winter blooming um, annuals or winter blooming perennials or stuff like that. So we'll see. He doesn't say what the delivery is going to have, but he knows it's going to be plants. So we'll see what they have. So I'm inside and these are the indoor plants and they have a little clearance section. The indoor clearance section is not as prolific as the outdoor and I'm still working on perfecting my, you know, my indoor plant situation because I kill plants all the time, indoor plants. And um, I have a couple of these already, but if you are looking, you might look up. Again, this is the clearance rack for indoor plants. and. They have, I don't know indoor plants as much as I know outdoor plants. I know that's an orchid right there. I know that's, is that a br bromeliad? I don't know. I'd have to look. Let me see. I don't know how you pronounce this. Um, yes, yes, it's a bromeliad. And um, then they have some little, you know, little guys here, some wick and grow plants here. I don't know them too well, but I just wanted to show you that they also had clearance on the inside. All these are on clearance. The snake plants are down here, the orchids, the bamboo, all these guys are on clearance. So, guys, please take some time and get to your lows. Hopefully, you'll find some really great, really, really great snake, um, not snake plants, clearance plants. And to save you some money because, you know, come February, March, the prices are going to go back up and you're going to end up spending you know full price when you don't have to they have some more indoor containers planters four dollars for these guys right here those are pretty if you look if you have a blue theme or a blue and white theme these are really nice too eleven dollars eight dollars 
and then they have some stuff here for $15 too. But again, I don't really spend too much money on indoor stuff, but if you're looking, they're here, guys. So that's pretty much it for me here at the clearance rack at Lowe's, guys. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and remember to comment. Let me know what you think of the clearance. Let me know what you have and how it's been going with you in your clearance um, hauls or your clearance shopping. Again, this is Era. This is Garden on Purpose, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.